You dismiss us as mere pawns in this conflict. Yet you yourself struggle, fret over your plans. We are amused. I am not fool enough to surrender my will to some nebulous deity. That and nothing more. Perhaps bowing our heads and accepting our fate as our opponents have done is by far the wiser course. How you choose to embrace your fate is none of my concern. Unless you choose to interfere. With your time, Magic? And what do you hope to accomplish with this power of yours? Time compression. I shall freeze the hands of time on this petty squabble and extinguish all other lives in this world but my own. That is what I plan to do with this power of mine. <laughs> do you believe me, I wonder? <laughs> believe you, perhaps we do. But for the Void, time and divine will are of no consequence. No matter your plans, they mean less than nothing to us. I do not doubt it. They will mean nothing for those that fade into oblivion. However, this world, it already creeps towards the edge of destruction. Doesn't this war have you fighting against your brother, Cecil? How do you cope with that? Not very well, I'm afraid. I realize that this is a battle we must fight. But I do not eagerly join the fray. I understand. I hope it all ends soon. Once the battle's over, you won't have to fight your brother anymore. And you can go home together. What's wrong? Once the battle's over, everyone will go their separate ways. And that means we'll never see each other again. Tara. When I go back to my home world, I'll... I'll probably have to go straight back to fighting again. The only type of memories that come back to me are images of war and death. I wonder... Did I ever have friends like you before? When I get back, will there be anyone to welcome me home? Even if you must take up arms once more, even if there are none to welcome you, it is no different from how we all began our journey here. We were all strangers. We had no way of knowing who we could trust. At first we were alone, but now we have allies. Those who greet us with open arms. True. <laughs> Believe me, Terra, we will prevail in this conflict. And once we do, and you return to your own world, things will go just as well for you there. Oh. I never thought of it that way before. Enough already! Those damn puppets! There's just too many of them! Wish they'd let up for a bit! The mannequins, you mean? Yeah. If they're gonna go around using my form, they can at least show some of my restraint. What if we're like them? Huh? What if they're not imitations of us? What if there were nothing but mannequins from the very start? And then later, we were just chosen at random and then made into what we are now. What if we were? The thought doesn't bother you? It's just not that big a deal, really. How we were born into this world doesn't matter. It's what we do with ourselves afterwards that counts. You might be right, but... But just suppose that we were born into this world. 
All the memories we thought were ours, they'd be nothing but lies. How can you... What if? Just suppose? You'll never find any answers that way. That's why Cosmos gave us these. The crystals. We go take down Chaos. After that, who knows what's gonna happen? Me? I'll worry about it once we get there. <sighs> hey, lighten up, will ya? You don't wanna upset your big sister, do you? My big sister? Terra's gotta look out for you like you're her annoying little brother. Hey! <laughs> that got you going. I knew you had some spirit left. Can't have the kids moping around all day. No, sir. You... you're still just a kid yourself. 